Let us understand the techniques for decision making under risk. The technique for decision making under risk is expected monetary value or EMV. This technique involves setting up a payoff matrix, determination of the expected monetary value and based on that selection of an optimal alternative. So let us look at the payoff matrix. Let us take the example of rolling of a dice. There are six possible options for you to choose. These are known as strategies or decision alternatives. At the same time, irrespective of the strategy you choose, there are six possible outcomes that may happen. These are known as the events. Now for each of the event or outcome, there is a probability associated. For example, in case of rolling of a dice, the probability of hitting any number is 1 by 6th. So this is the probability of an event. Based on these, the payoff is the profit or loss made from each combination of a strategy and an event. For example, if you decided to bet on number 2 on the dice and if number 2 actually is the outcome after rolling the dice, then you make a profit. However, if any other number appears, then you lose. So this is the payoff. Now let us consider strategies as S I event as n j probabilities as p j and the payoffs of each combination as x i j now to construct a payoff matrix the decision alternatives or strategies are placed row wise. So your strategies can be placed row wise. So it can be S1, S2, S3, so on till Sn. While the possible events and their corresponding probabilities are placed column wise. So your events are column wise so n1 n2 n3 and so on till n n and the probabilities right below the events so p1 p2 p3 till p n and the payoffs are placed right at the intersection of the strategies and the event. So x11 one, one is the payoff. Similarly x21 and so on. For the second column it will be x12, x22 and so on. Now let us look at how to calculate the expected monetary value. 
or EMV in short. Expected monetary value represents the long term gain to be expected from an alternative if the decision is repeated a large number of times. In other words, if x can take a value of x1 with a probability of p1, x2 with a probability of p2 and so on, then the expected monetary value EMV is equal to x1 multiplied by p1 plus x2 multiplied by p2 so on till xn multiplied by pn. So in the payoff matrix that we created earlier the EMV for strategy S1 will be equal to x11 multiplied by p1 plus x12 multiplied by p2 so on similarly for S2 it will be x21 multiplied by p1 plus x22 multiplied by p2 and so on so after you calculate the EMVs for all the possible strategies that you can have the EMVs can then be scrutinized and the alternative which offers the highest expected value is selected and implemented.